else gonna get that okay fine <laughs> i got it then i guess i'll take this one it's cool whatever <sighs> y'all are disappointing help desk this is gerilyn what seems to be the nature of your problem hi um so I'm trying to log into the network, and I can't seem to make it work. Oh, okay. Boy, that's a challenge. Glad I picked up this call. I'm sorry? No, go ahead. Walk me through how terribly difficult this is. Oh, okay. Um, so, uh, I put in my ID and my password. Huh? And, well, it says it can't log me in. Right. Mystery. What could it possibly be? Well, it's just that this is super weird, because normally I don't have any trouble. Oh, you never have trouble. This is your first time encountering an insurmountable difficulty. So difficult, in fact, that you prompted to call the help desk. Uh, yeah. And you feel this problem is so hard that it demands assistance from a paid professional. You can't crack this nugget. Impossible for you to figure out. Um, th did I catch you on a bad day? <laughs> Why would you say that? Well, it just seems like you, you kind of have an attitude. Whoa! Well, I have the attitude? I'm just sitting here, minding my own business. I'm not the person who can't figure out how to log into a network. I'm in the network, which is fine. I got no problems. Uh, right, but you work at the help desk. Oh, so you know all about me, don't you? All about me! You just... Help me, please. Oh, oh, now you need help. Just a minute ago, you were saying that I had an attitude, and all of a sudden, you're desperate for my assistance. I don't know. Maybe you think it's cool to insult someone and then demand they help you. I guess that's just how it works where you live. You do you, I guess. 
So, with my password, please. All right. Have you tried turning off your computer and then turning it back on again? Does that work? No, I'm just saying stupid stuff to keep you occupied. I'm just making stuff up over here because that's what I like to do with my time. Turn off your computer and then turn it back on again. Do it. Do it! Okay. Um, so now I turn it back on again? No, we just leave it off. Oh. Okay. Of course you turn it back on! What part of turn off your computer and then turn it back on again did you not understand? D did, did your brain just cut off after the first part of my instructions? I, sorry, I... How are you going to log into a network with your computer turned off? How are you going to do that? Are you magic? Do you have magic? Are you a wizard? Am I talking to a wizard? Are you just gonna get out your wizard wand and abracadabra yourself into the network? Is that what you're planning on doing? No, I, I don't know, maybe. Is your computer back on yet? It's booting up. Uh-huh. All right, I guess we'll just have to wait for it then. I'm doing what you asked me to do. <laughs> Not fast enough. I got other people to help, all right? I got people with real problems calling in. And what are they going to do if the line is busy? I don't know. I just can't log into the network. <laughs> and it's my problem that you failed? Take some responsibility for your actions. I'm trying to. I'm having a hard day. I bet you are, and it's about to get harder. No. Did you even remember your password correctly? Yes. Did you? Yes. Stop lying to me. I know you're lying. Did you enter the password correctly? I think so. Before you were sure, and now you just think so? Which one is it? I don't know. I don't even know who I am anymore. I tried to do the capture thing and it asked me if I was a robot. And I started thinking about it. And I was like, am I a robot? If I was a robot, do I even know? Maybe I'm a robot that's programmed to think it's a human being. And all of a sudden, I didn't even know if I deserved to get into the network. If I couldn't even prove that I was human. I mean, maybe I'm just a brain and a bat. And this is a computer simulation. And... Uh, Oh, okay. Um, hold on. Uh, I think I got it. <gasps> I made it in. Okay, thank you. I, I think I learned something today. I think you did, lady. I think you did. You saved me. Just doing my job. Next time, you're a human being. Remember that. Thank you. Because a robot would have never made that dumb of a mistake. <gasps> Help desk, this is Boris. How may I help you today? Hey man, it's Tanner. Hello, Tanner. I need some help. Everybody does sometimes. You came to the right place. Tell me what's going on with you. Um, so I'm trying to order something from Amazon and it's not taking my credit card information. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a bummer, dude. Right. So what am I doing wrong? We're not there yet. Don't rush the process. Oh. You got to savor the process. Know what I'm saying? This is a journey that we are on together. You don't want to rush to the end of the journey without fighting all the monsters along the way. Outright? How else are you going to learn and change and grow? I'm not sure I want to learn and change and grow. Whoa, don't say that, Tanner. Let's unpack that. I'm trying to order socks, actually, for my feet. I need some new socks. Mm-hmm. That's what's going on on the surface, but that's not what's really happening. 
That's actually exactly what is happening. Little word of advice for you. I want you to remove the word exactly from your vocabulary. We are faulty creatures. Our perceptions of the world are not necessarily what is reality. In fact, reality, which I'm putting in air quotes, is not an actual thing. So you need to release yourself from the pathological need to know what is going on. What is going on? Wrong question, Tanner. The question is, what do you perceive to be going on? Is that a question? Is it? Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. So, I perceive that I cannot put my credit card information into the open tab. Cannot or will not? Nope. Cannot. Like, I type numbers and numbers don't appear in the box. Think about what you just said. You type in numbers, and numbers don't appear. Yes. You type in numbers, and numbers do not appear. Right. Why do you think you are the master in numbers? Why do you think numbers have to obey you? Are you a number master? Uh, I'm not sure. That's the most true statement you made this entire call. Let me propose a solution. Ask the numbers to appear. Ask them? You never asked them, did you? You demanded things from them, like they were your servants. But numbers do not serve you, man. You do not own them. You know what numbers are? An agreed upon fiction. Think about it. Three does not exist, man. Three is only what we agree to be three. And three has refused to go along with that anymore. I just want socks. I'm really just trying to get socks. No, you say you want socks, but in truth, you are fighting a war with yourself about whether or not reality is what you think it is. You gotta open up your mind, man. So what do I do? Ask the numbers to appear with respect. Implore them to join your computer screen. Okay, um, four. Keep going. Six. Yeah, that's respectful. Five. How do you feel about five? I love five. Five loves you. Call five. Call her. Five. 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 Five hears you. I love five. Call the others. Call them. Seven. Nine. One. One again. One another time. And zero. Zero. Please heed my call. And five. And your expiration date. Why do you... You speak your expiration date into the universe! July 2025! Yes! Uh, nothing seems to have happened. Boris? Boris, are you there? Boris, did you just steal my credit card information? Boris? Thank you for calling help desk. Hello, is this the help desk? Yes, it is. Oh, this is Miss Carter. I've got a bone to pick with you. Oh, well, I am sorry to hear that, but this is the help desk. I am here to help. That is why I'm at the help desk. Uh, I love helping people. I need to report a faulty product, possibly poisonous, super dangerous, and there are no warning signs on it at all. None. What is your name? Um, my name is Tallulah. All right, Tallulah, listen to me. I've got one of your so-called bottles of water right here, and you know what I did? I drank it. Oh. And then I looked up the ingredients. What do you think the ingredients were in a bottle of water? What are the ingredients in a bottle of water? Water? Oh, sure, there's supposedly water in this thing, but you know what else there is? Magnesium sulfate. Magnesium sulfate. Chemicals. Uh, well, ma'am, I'm not even sure those are chemicals. They are science words, and I do not like them. I didn't ask to put science into my body, and now I've got magnesium throwing a party in my lungs or whatever, and sulfate is just ripping up my stomach. It's madness. Uh, okay, ma'am, do you actually feel sick? 
oh, do you think these chemicals would be so obvious as to cause obvious problems? No, they're smarter than that. Okay. Um, I'm not sure they're that smart at all. That's what they want you to believe. Oh, wake up, Tallulah. Open your eyes. I've got magnesium and I've got sulfate inside my body right now. What can I do? How do I stop them? I'm freaking out. Okay, first, let's calm down. I am very calm. Oh, I think uh, speaking loudly activates the magnesium. Wait, what? Yes. Uh, if you don't, you need to keep it down and act rationally or the sulfate will awaken. It awakens? Don't you know anything about sulfates? More than one of them? Oh, yes, ma'am. There are so many sulfates. And, um, and they look around you, unseen, ready to strike at any moment. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. So, um, the first thing you need to do is listen to me, and you need to listen to me very, very carefully, and do everything I say, or you will be facing an activated magnesium and a activated sulfate. Do you want that? No, 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 I don't want that. No, you don't. Are the sulfates in the chemtrails? You better believe it. They're everywhere. They're in our water. They're inside us. <sighs> yes, yes, they are. Um, but there is one way to get them out. I have a knife. No, no, no. Oh, okay, no, you don't need a knife. Oh, I, 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 are you sure I don't need a knife? Yes. Um, that only angers the magnesium. Oh, well, I, I don't want to anger it. Oh, no. No, you don't. In fact, um, speaking its name peeves it. Oh. So, there is one way to get it out. Um, I need you to find a lavatory. A lavatory? Yes. You, do you have one in your house? I, I think so. Okay. Well, Miss Carter. I need you to go to it, and I need you to urinate. Miss Carter. Miss Carter, are you there? Uh, I'm a little scared. Be brave, Miss Carter! This is the only way to get it out! Well, if you say so. And, um, listen, never buy one of our products again, okay? I don't think you can handle it. Thank you, you saved my life today. Hey, I'm just doing my job. Now, pee. Pee like the wind. Thank you, I'll, I'll name my firstborn after you. Oh, okay. No, don't do that. And also, please don't ever have children. Um, they have lots of magnesium in them. Oh, good to know. I love helping people. Magnesium sulfate? This is Bailey. Bailey? What's up? Bailey, this is Marcus. What's up, Marcus? I'm having a bad day, Bailey. I'm sorry to hear that. A real bad day. You know why I'm having a bad day? Uh, climate change? No. Vatral disasters in your vicinity, flesh eating virus, unsocial rats, murder hornets? No, Bailey. I'm having a problem with socks. Oh. My socks is malfunctioning, Bailey. 
I'm not sure socks can malfunction, sir. Oh, can't they? I disagree. I have worn these socks for six months straight. And do you know what happened? I can't imagine. They got a hole in them. Now, how did that happen? Maybe your feet were a hole in them. My feet are pristine. Do you understand how beautiful my feet are? My feet wouldn't hurt anyone. And you're insinuating that my lovely feet have attacked some socks? Didn't happen. Did not happen. I'm not sure this is a huge deal. How can you say that? I had big plans for these socks. Ruined! I was going to make cute little puppets with them. You can still make puppets. How am I going to make a little puppet? My little puppet has a hole in its head. Was it shot? Was my puppet the victim of a murder? How am I going to explain my murder of puppets to preschoolers? <sighs> hey, kids, it's me, Jimbo. Pay no attention to the giant hole in my head, in my forehead, where I was shot by a rival puppet gang. Kids are going to be screaming, calling for their mommies. Don't worry, kids. I was raised from the dead, and now I'm a zombie. But I'm only a little bit contagious. Who wants to give me their brains to eat? But you, but you don't have to say that. I'm going wherever my art takes me. Right now, because of my holy socks, it's taking me to some pretty dark places, Bailey. Real dark. Hey, kids, has anyone seen my brain? Oh, no, my brain is oozing out. I hope you can sleep well tonight. Here comes my brain. Blech. I was murdered. I'm sorry, sir, but our policy says not refund socks that have been worn every day for six months. Where's your manager? She's pretty busy. I want to speak to your manager. Put your manager on. All right. This is Danny, manager and chief problem solver. I got you back, noble citizen. Yeah, I got a problem with Bailey. Big problem with Bailey. It's just a policy, sir. Hey, you be quiet while I tell to your boss. Hit me with it. What happened? I have some malfunctioning socks. These socks are about to cause children trauma. Do you understand the seriousness of that? And Bailey is super unhelpful and mean. Big time mean. She will not refund my money. I've never been so outraged in my entire life. Bailey, is this true? I explained to him very calmly that we do not refund socks. Wait, the customer is always right. Thank you. But we have a policy. I don't care about policy. I care about our customer's feelings. And this customer is very clearly upset. And I know you've been a perfect employee for the past nine years here, but this is inexcusable. You're fired. What? That's right. You're fired. Pack up your things and get out of here. You're gone. But who will take care of my adopted daughter? I don't care. You made this guy mad. Get out. You're done here. And what about my five rescue golden retrievers? You're going to live on the street with you. Serves him right for having such a jerk as an owner. You're gone. I have had enough of you. I'm calling security to throw you out of here. Enjoy your new home under the bridge, you scum. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'll never do it again. Too late. It's over for you. You're a disgrace. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry, golden retrievers. I'm sorry, elderly mother that depends on me. Um, hey. Uh, you know what? I can use a different sock for my puppet. Don't worry about it, sir. No, I mean, I don't need anybody to lose their job over this. It was probably my fault for wearing the socks for 180 days in a row. You sure? Yeah, um... <laughs> Sorry to be a problem. I'll figure it out on my own. Is he gone? Yep. Next time I have a jerk, you get to be the manager, okay? Sure thing. Us. This is Monique. 
Hi there, yes, I got a problem. Mm -hmm. Sure you do, that's why you're calling the help desk. Before we start, I have to let you know that this helpline costs 99 cents a minute. Do you accept the charges? Why do I need to pay to get help? You want people to help you for free? Out of the goodness of their hearts? Well, yeah. You accept the charges? And I want you to know the whining about the charges cost $5 a minute, so... Okay, I accept the charges. All right, so what seems to be the problem? Right, so I decided to get the Mega Cabinet 3000. Oh, the Mega Cabinet 3000, one of our best sellers. Right, and I'm trying to put it together, it's but... You can put that together. Well, I'm actually on step 47. So. Step 47? That is such a good step. One of the best. Great, yeah. But I put the little tubey things into the little holes, and they kind of get stuck, and I can't really get them back out again. Are you looking at the pictograms? Yes, I've got them right here. Mm -hmm. The pictograms are designed for people who don't even have the ability to read. Uh-huh. So what you're saying is, these designs were built so a toddler could put this together, but it has been stopped. Right, but I put the little tube. <laughs> so you're confused? You don't know what's going on? <laughs> I'm surprised you're capable of finding the help phone number on there. Well, they actually make it hard to find the helpline. Oh, a lot of things are hard, I guess, aren't they, little friend? My name's actually Peyton. Oh, Peyton is having trouble with her pictogram. Oh, poor Peyton. I'm also actually try paying you to help me, so... You, oh, you are incapable of doing this yourself, okay? So you need to pay money to a stranger to help you, okay? That's where you are in your life. Yes, and that is why I called. Help me? All right, I'll help you. Are there any other competent humans in the house with you? Anyone who can handle or read or do anything with a tool? This seems insulting. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to help you or not? Listen, is there anyone else there? A six-year-old, maybe? No, it's just me. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Why did you say that? I think it's pretty obvious that if you can't put together a cabinet 3000, no one will ever love you. What? Okay, okay, listen. Are you going to let me help you or are you just going to keep whining? Well, you're not helping me. Why didn't it cost $5 a minute, Peyton? Is that what you want? Okay, okay, okay. What do I do? I'm on step 47. Okay, what I want you to do first is take a deep breath. Fine. You didn't take a deep breath. Uh, I did take a deep breath. I didn't hear a deep breath. Fine. That was a sarcastic breath. You're charging me by the minute. Well, maybe you better do what I say, huh? Breathe. I am breathing. This is Not the most deeply, sincere. sincerely. Well, this is the most sincere, most deep breath you will ever get from me. <gasps> Ow. Sir? Hello? Are you okay? I hurt myself. Do you need help? Um, can you call an ambulance? Of course, of course. Oh, it's only $21 a minute for me to call you an ambulance, though. Is anyone there? You can do this, Cham. This is the help desk. Can I help you? Um, what are you supposed to be? I'm at the help desk. I'm here to help you. Anything you need? You're just like a clown. You're very observant. Yes, I am. I find it puts people at ease. Does it? Definitely. You'd be amazed at how many people open up to you when you're a clown. How can I help you? This is a very serious call. Of course. <laughs> Does that help? 
No. What if I did it twice? I'm just, I'm a little freaked out by clowns. Un understandable. Kind of scared by them. Yeah, a lot of people dress up like clowns and commit crimes. Happens all the time. You never know which clowns are the good ones, so I get it. Are you a good one? I'm the best one. I'm a listening clown. Go ahead, tell me your problems. Uh, okay. So I took a home DNA test because there are some medical issues in my family. Sh sure. And I want to make sure I wasn't susceptible to genetic diseases. Right, mm-hmm. Why did you bring out the puppet? Oh, this is little Bofo. Whenever I sense things are about to get emotional, I need little Bofo. Say hi, little Bofo. Hi, little Bofo. He's a card. Can you put the puppet away, please? Tell me about your medical conditions. I don't want to tell the puppet my medical conditions. Little Bofo is sad now. You hurt his feelings. I don't care. Put him away. No, don't put me away. I'll be good. I promise. You go in the box now. Never in the box. Don't listen to the clown. He's a he's an evil clown. Shh. Sorry about that. He gets inappropriate sometimes. You are the one controlling him. Whoa, that is a serious accusation. Your hand was up his butt. That's ridiculous. It doesn't even have a butt. Who would put a butt on a puppet? A piz, whatever, opening. Oh my gosh, you're gross. I am trying to tell you something serious. I am a very serious person, all right? I am the most serious person who works here. Now tell me what your problem is. My problem is you. Tell me your other problems then. I'm scared because it turns out I might have a genetic predisposition for... Uh, what are you doing? Is this a mystery to you? What does it look like I'm doing? Are you making a balloon animal? What kind of animal do you want? I want no animals. Negative animal. That's not an animal. That's the absence of an animal. How am I supposed to create the absence of an animal? That's not even possible. I don't want a balloon animal. Maybe I want one. You ever thought of that? No, because you're so wrapped up in yourself. But maybe talking to you is so difficult. I need a balloon animal to help me through it emotionally. Maybe that's why I'm making a penguin. You're making a penguin? They're cute. I love penguins. Y you do? They're the best. Go ahead. Oh, OK. <laughs> Uh, here you go. That looks just like the penguin balloon animal I had as a little girl. Thank you so much. No problem. I feel so much better now. It's weird. The calming presence of that misshapen balloon animal is so soothing. I feel like I could tell you anything. I know. And what I need to tell you... Time's up. You'll need to speak to another representative. Help desk, this is Brent. I need some help. You called the right place. I know I did. Uh, how can I help you? I need to get rid of my boyfriend. Um, I'm not sure I'm the right person to call. You help people, right? I need help getting rid of my boyfriend. He's terrible. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. 
I, again, I don't know that I'm the right person. He's worn the same pair of socks for six months. Uh, oh. Six months. Can you explain to me the mental state of a person who would do that? I, I can't actually. He breathes with his mouth open all the time. The boy cannot close his mouth. He's just walking around here wearing the same socks every day with a, his big mouth open. Like he's one of those whales that's just sipping through the ocean water to eat krill. I can't take it anymore. Have you tried telling him how you feel? What? M maybe you should just communicate with him. Hey, Marcus, close your mouth. Never gonna work. He's dumb too. This boy is so dumb. He eats out of the garbage. He will literally open the garbage can and rummage around for food like a raccoon, mouth open the whole time, and flies are going in, but they aren't even getting caught. They, 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 they're flying to his mouth and they're like, oh, it's really dumb in here. And then they escape. Every time I see his face, I just wanna, I just wanna push him into a river. So why are you dating him? He's so cute, but I hate him. Okay, uh, um, maybe instead of complaining to me, maybe you could communicate with him. Why are you trying to deflect responsibility? Not, I'm just saying that- Reflecting, you need to help me. I am helping you. You are just talking. That's not helping. I need action. I want my boyfriend removed. Surgical action. Like I've got a 190 pound cyst that needs to be excavated from my life and transported to the nearest landfill. I'm not sure how I can do that. Come up with a plan. Be creative. Think, Brent. Think. Do you know people? People? Yes, Brent. Do you know people? I know people. Are these people good at getting rid of unwanted things? Permanently? I'm not sure what you're asking. Oh, I, I think you know what I'm asking. Are you really asking me to take care of your boyfriend? Yes, Brent, I am. Okay, hold on. I've got an opening next Tuesday at 2 a.m. Three-person job. Your boyfriend will never be seen again. Are you saying you're gonna kill him? Isn't that what you wanted? No! My goodness, what is wrong with you? I, I thought that's what you were asking. You are sick. You are demented. He's just annoying. He doesn't need to be whacked. You said take care of. Yes, as in given job assistance and provided with affordable housing in a nice community. You said removed. Yes, as in given a ride to a new furnished apartment near a farm upstate with a gym and a swimming pool with lots of other stupid boys that he can play with in a healthy peer group. What is wrong with you? You think you're some kind of ma mafia help desk? You, you asked if I knew people. Where is your supervisor? I want to talk to your manager. Oh, come on. Put your manager on the phone. Fine. This is Danny. Help desk, this is Charlie. Hey there, I'm having a little bit of a problem. I mean, aren't we all? But I'm not the only one getting paid to help people, so far away. So, I downloaded your virus protection plan on my computer. <laughs> what? Nothing, I'm sorry, I'm just amused. Go ahead. What are you amused about? Little joke we have here in the office. Not a problem. You don't need to worry about it. I just love my job, and that's all. By the way, if you hear me laughing or high-fiving people, just ignore that. Why would you be high-fiving people? I just truly love my team, and that's all. So you downloaded the virus protection? Yes, your virus assassin three. Oh, you got three. <laughs> hey, everybody. I got a customer here who got Virus Assassin 3. Wow. OJ, <laughs> really? I know, right? <laughs> Woo! Idiot. 
Yeah, so I downloaded Virus Assassin 3 because it said it would take care of my viruses permanently. Yeah, it says that. Classic. But as soon as I installed it, I started getting all of these pop-ups. Yep. And they say things like, your computer is in danger, or the, or this one. There are viruses coming from your computer. They are stealing all of your information and writing emails to your mom, blaming her for all the problems in your life. I mean, that's really specific. My mom doesn't even know she's responsible for all the problems in my life. Amazing. So it seems like all Virus Assassin 3 does is just put pop-ups on my computer scaring me. Sometimes fear is the best motivator. But that's basically what a virus does. Yep. So how is Virus Assassin 3 different than a virus? <laughs> hey. She's asking how Virus Assassin 3 is different than a virus. Uh, <laughs> it's not lady. Yes, you're right. What am I right about? Virus Assassin 3 is, in fact, a virus. Don't get upset. It's there to show you how bad a virus can be. But I paid for it! I know. You made a terrible mistake. You're completely fooled. That just shows how vulnerable you are to other viruses. It says it murders viruses. And it does, by becoming one of them. And now your computer is infected with Virus Assassin 3, which is totally about to beam all your credit card information to the dark web. The dark web? Oh yeah, it's scary. That's why it's called the dark web. Pretty soon, organized crime in Morocco is going to have access to all your contacts and will be calling your grandma. This is crazy! <laughs> I know. You'd be amazed at how many people fall for this. But how do I get rid of it? That's where I can help you. We have a specially designed product that will take care of the Virus Assassin 3. No problem. No questions asked. Virus Assassin Extreme. I know you're worried it's going to be expensive, but it's only a monthly fee of $19.95. And why is it a monthly fee? It's a subscription service, because Virus Assassin 3 is constantly mutating, so you need Virus Assassin Extreme to be constantly adapting to fight it. Don't you know anything about viruses? How do I know Virus Assassin Extreme isn't just another virus? I guess you'll just have to trust me. But you don't seem trustworthy at all! It's quite a dilemma, isn't it? You're really in a bind. Hey guys, I think she's gonna buy Virus Assassin Extreme. I'm not doing this. Aww, you sure? Yes, you guys are like criminals. I guess I need to buy a new computer then. I guess you do, but you're in luck because we sell those too. Ooh. Help desk, this is... Bees! There are bees. They're inside my house. They're everywhere. Bees! Uh, this is Chase. How can I help you? I'm telling you, there are bees. Oh, so I'm talking to an amateur beekeeper, am I? Fantastic. Do you know the word apiary? I do. Help me! Absolutely! The key to beekeeping is to make sure that your queen is happy. She's sending her minions after me! They're inside the house! Ah! Right. Don't keep bees inside the house. How do I kill them? <laughs> bees are actually endangered? I want them more endangered. Bees and other pollinators are a responsibility for quite a lot of our food. Instead of fearing them, we should be thanking them. But don't shake hands with the bee, though. I said don't shake hands with them. They're shaking hands with me. They must like you. <laughs>
<laughs> Just kidding. Uh, they see you as a threat that must be eliminated. How do I eliminate them? Maybe it would help if I understood how the bees got in your house. I wanted honey. Classic mistake. And I, I thought it would be fun to, to keep bees up. So I got a beehive and I got a whole bunch of bees. And they were fine for a while. Ah, but I thought it was going to rain and I was worried about my hive. And they seemed super nice. So I brought them into the house. You brought the entire hive into your house? I was worried about them. Ah! I shouldn't have been, because they're mean. Ah! Where's the hive now? Uh, it's there on the kitchen table, but I can't get near it, because there are a lot of bees. All right, uh, listen to me. You need to calm down. Bees can smell fear. They can? Yes, they smell it and they love it. So stand up and don't be frightened. Ow. You're doing great. They keep stinging me. Oh, are these honeybees? Yes. Oh, okay then, uh, they can't smell fear, I was wrong. Uh, they smell weakness. I am very weak. <laughs> I know, uh, there's only one thing you can do. What's that? You must do battle with the queen. I have to do battle with, with, with the queen? Absolutely, that's the only way they're going to respect you. You have to assert dominance. Are you sure you know a lot about bees? Uh? It's pretty clear that I know more about bees than you. Good point. You need to defeat the queen in one-on-one -on -one combat. Then you need to extrude a fragrant odor. Bees actually navigate by smell. Amazing! How do I extrude an odor? Believe in yourself and a high-fiber diet. Once you've entranced the bees with your scent, you need to lead them outside, Pied Piper style. Okay. Good luck. On the count of three, charge. <laughs> you should be. <laughs> One, two, three, charge! Good idea.